Dear students, welcome to the classroom. In previous video, we have learned the definition, functions and part of a computer. And today, we are going to learn the parts of a computer in detail. Input devices. Dear students, the keyboard and the mouse are two input devices. They are used to enter data or instructions into the computer. Keyboard. Dear students, the keyboard is used to enter data or give instructions to the computer. It is connected to the CPU box with a cable or without cable. The keyboard is a flat rectangular board with more than 100 keys on it. These keys can be classified as follows. Letter keys, number keys, keys for mathematical operations, keys for punctuation marks, keys for special symbols, Cursor keys, function keys, and special keys. Mouse. Dear students, the mouse is a palm sized plastic device with two or three buttons on it. The left mouse button is the most frequently used button. The mouse is kept and moved over a mouse pad. On its underside, there is a spherical rubber ball which moves as you move the mouse over the mouse pad. The mouse is connected to the CPU box with a cable or without cable. When you move the mouse, the movement of the ball on its underside is converted into data which is sent to the CPU through a cable. It is then that the mouse shows where you are currently working on the screen or points to a location on the screen. Hence, the mouse is also known as pointing device. Now, we will see the output devices. Dear students, the monitor and the printer are two output devices. The monitor displays the output while a printer prints the output on paper. Monitor Dear students, the monitor looks like a TV screen. It is connected to the CPU box with a cable. It has a power button to switch it on and off and it also has controls for brightness contrast etc. The monitor is also known as visual display unit VDU. Data entered into a computer is processed according to instructions and the information that is thus generated is displayed by the monitor. Also when you enter data or give instructions to the computer the monitor screen displays whatever you are typing currently. Printer. Dear students any information generated by the computer is displayed by the monitor. This information or output can be printed on paper with the help of a printer. The printer is connected to the CPU box with a cable. A printer can print both text and pictures. The printed copy of the text or picture is called a hard copy. This is because the copy is stored by the computer or displayed on the screen is called soft copy. There are three kinds of printers. Dot matrix printer. Dear students, a dot matrix printer has a small set of needle like pins to print word or pictures. The words or pictures are printed in the form of dots. Most dot matrix printers print in black and white. A dot matrix printer is very noisy and slow. Inject printer. Dear students, the head of an inject printer has many tiny holes on it. Tiny drops of ink is spread out of these holes to print words or pictures on paper. Inject printers can print in both black and white and color. An inject printer is quite cheap, easy to use and quieter than the dot matrix printer. Laser printer Dear students, a laser printer prints words or pictures with the help of a laser beam. It is the best printer available today for good quality printing. A laser printer prints the whole page at once. A laser printer is costlier than inject printer but it prints at the high speed. Now we will see the processing unit. Dear students, the processing unit is located in the CPU box. The vertical box that you see next to the monitor is called the CPU box or the system unit. The monitor, keyboard and mouse and printer are connected to the CPU box with cables or without cables. The CPU box as the name suggests consists of the CPU which perform the two main functions of processing and storage. Processing unit. Dear students, the processing unit contains the CPU and other electronic components that help the CPU to process input data according to program and generate information. The CPU controls the entire working of the computer 
so it is called the brain of the computer. Dear students, on receiving data and instructions from the input devices, the CPU decides what to do, how to do it and which unit will do it and accordingly it sends message or signals to those units. After processing the data, the CPU generates information and display it through the output units. Memory unit Dear students, as the name suggests, the memory unit stores all the data, programs and information in it. When you enter data into the computer, it first goes to the memory unit. The CPU takes data from the memory unit and processes it to generate information. This information is again sent to storage in the memory unit. The CPU then instructs the memory unit to send the information to the output devices. So dear students, in this video, we have learned the input devices, output devices and processing unit. So watch the video carefully to understand the lesson.